Welcome to chapter two of our story, where the village finds itself in a state of disarray. The air is thick with fear and uncertainty, as the villagers scurry about, haunted by the wrath of a spirit long forgotten. In the midst of this chaos stands a young girl with vibrant blue hair, her face a mirror of the tempest within her. This chapter will take us on a journey through the heart of the village, where ancient secrets and forgotten rituals come to life. Join us as we delve into the mystery that has gripped the village and follow our characters as they seek to uncover the truth behind the spirit's anger. Stay tuned as the story unfolds, and don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more captivating tales. In the heart of the village square, the air is alive with tension. Holographic projections flicker ominously above, casting eerie shadows that dance across the cobblestones. A young woman with warm brown eyes stands beside the girl with blue hair, her gaze a mixture of determination and dread. The weight of expectation presses heavily upon her shoulders, a legacy from her ancestors who once revered the spirit as a guardian. Her voice, steady amidst the chaos, urges the need to understand what the spirit desires. As the girl with blue hair nods, Memories of her grandmother's whispered tales begin to surface, stories of a spirit that once protected their village, now awakened and furious. Together, they stand at the precipice of discovery, ready to confront the shadows of their past. The village historian approaches, his brow furrowed with concern, and his long cloak billowing behind him like a shadow. His voice, a gravelly whisper, cuts through the din, speaking of ancient texts that hold the key to understanding the spirit's motives. A flicker of hope ignites within the girl with blue hair. Perhaps the answers lie buried in the past, waiting to be unearthed. As they gather around a weathered table in the village library, the atmosphere shifts from festive to foreboding. Dust motes dance in the shafts of light that filter through the grimy windows, illuminating the ancient tomes that line the shelves. Each book is a portal to a time when the village thrived under the spirit's watchful gaze. Together, they delve into the depths of their history, seeking the truths that have been buried beneath layers of time and neglect. The historian points to a passage in one of the ancient texts, speaking of an artifact, a relic imbued with the power to communicate with the spirit. The girl's heart races as she reads the words, each syllable resonating with a truth she had long dismissed. The artifact is hidden deep within the forest, a place where the veil between the living and the spirit world thins. The young woman's voice breaks through her reverie, filled with resolve. They must go there, they must find it. Her determination ignites a fire within the girl, a resolve to confront the shadows of her heritage. Together, they prepare to leave, ready to delve into the depths of their history and unearth the truths that have been buried beneath layers of time and neglect.